Um, I mean, the same thing, a high level of competition. I keep it at that for, for now um, and, and, and keep it at basketball. Uh, Park and the Miami Heat go down here. We can win this. You think you can win the whole thing? Yes. Yes. You know you're not favored to. I don't give it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Speaking for myself, I don't give a damn what anybody said. I got everything. 20 bucks a cup. <laughs> uh, small, medium, and large. All of it's $20 a cup. So. Um, <laughs> Why is that. your coffee special, cellmate? Because like you can't get coffee nowhere here. <laughs> so I might bump it up to 30 bucks a cup. Just depends. <laughs> People here can afford it. So ain't nobody complaining. <laughs> So it, it's no telling, but I don't think there are going to be no punches thrown. You'll get a mean mug here and there, maybe a couple words. Definitely from some players that will still be in the playoffs. So. You rolled your ankle pretty hard yourself. You were limping for a while. When you woke up, what did it feel like? Who cares? Nobody cares. I like, care. I'm asking you the question. And I appreciate that. I care deeply, Jimmy. Thank you. But nobody cares. I, I really want to do this coffee thing because I, I love it. I enjoy it. Um, and it makes me smile. So as long as I'm happy, coffee's a part of it. Can you charge the American public $20 a I cup? I can, I can. I don't think that I will. <laughs> I can, but I don't think that I will. All right, last question. Are the Miami Heat winning game two? Yeah, yeah. How did I know you were gonna say that? I mean, you just know me oh so well, right? Oh so well. Well, last week during the quarantine period, the hotel that the Miami Heat were staying at, a security guard received a complaint of disturbance. There was a loud thumping going on. And who opened the door? It was Miami Heat forward Jimmy Butler drenched in sweat. Of course, Rachel Nichols has been involved in a lot of controversy lately in the sports world. She made some racist remarks towards Mario Taylor, and as a result, Nichols will not be covering the NBA Finals anymore. However, this video isn't about that. This video is about why Jimmy Butler and Rachel Nichols indeed hooked up in a hotel in the 2020 NBA bubble. There's a ton of proof that support this claim, so let's get straight to it. The first piece of evidence that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is the noise complaints that security received from Jimmy Butler's hotel in the NBA bubble. According to NBA insider Chris Haynes, a security guard received a complaint of a large banging within Butler's hotel room during the quarantine period. When the security guard knocked the door of the hotel, Butler was the one that opened it and was drenched in sweat. He claimed that he was dribbling quote unquote a basketball which is cap because how can you be that sweaty dribbling a basketball in a hotel? Even the other TNT broadcaster stated that he was worried that there would be some kind of entanglement in that hotel. Good. I was worried there might be some form of entanglement. Okay. When Therefore, it's believed that Jimmy Butler and Rachel Nichols were indeed smashing in the hotel and that it was kept a secret. Some people also claim that Butler gave coffee to Rachel Nichols as well a couple of times in the bubble, which is absolutely insane. The second piece of evidence that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is that Jimmy Butler and Rachel Nichols have a history of flirting in interviews. I mean, look at how they smile at each other when talking. Here are some clips of what I'm talking about. I mean, the same thing, a high level of competition. I keep it at that for, for now um, and, and, and keep it at basketball. I'm asking you the question. And I appreciate that. I care deeply, Jimmy. Thank you. Are the Miami Heat winning game two? Yeah. Yeah. How did I know you were going to say that? I mean, you just know me oh so well, right? Oh. Also, back in 2016, Rachel Nichols posted this tweet of him and Butler having quote unquote fun and being close to each other in an episode of The Jump, which is really weird to be honest. I mean, they do call this show The Jump for a reason. Nichols is The Jump. Adding to over the top of the nature of this rumor, Nichols was allegedly linked to Turkish player Ersan Ilyasova as well in the bubble. And also, there's even a video of Nichols flirting with LeBron James as well after the 2020 NBA Championship. Nichols just has a pass regarding this type of action. Anyways, the last piece of evidence that I'm going to be talking about in today's video involves Carl Anthony Towns. In the last seconds of a Timberwolves vs Miami Heat matchup in May of 2021, Carl Anthony Towns and Jimmy Butler were getting into it and trash talking non-stop. Jimmy Butler first called Towns soft and then Towns responded to Butler by telling him to call Rachel Nichols twice. Here's the full audio of the incident. <laughs> So yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. This story between Rachel Nichols and Jimmy Butler is pretty wild and it's been trending all day. It could indeed be 100% true and this video could support that. For the question of the day, do you guys think that this indeed happened or do you think that this is just a conspiracy at the end of the day? Let me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more basketball content. Also, be sure to turn on post notifications to get notified for my future videos. I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.
Um, I mean, the same thing, a high level of competition. I keep it at that for, for now um, and, and, and keep it at basketball. Uh, I know that. Um, I mean, the same thing, a high level of competition. I keep it at that for, for now um, and, and, and keep it at basketball. Uh, I know Disturbance complaint in one of the hotels, though. What was that about? Well, last week during the quarantine period, the hotel that the Miami Heat were staying at, a security guard received a complaint of disturbance. There was a loud thumping going on. So sources told me that the security guard went over to investigate, found the room, knocked on the room, and who opened the door? It was Miami Heat forward Jimmy Butler drenched in sweat with a practice gear on from head to toe. He was dribbling a basketball throughout, throughout his room the whole time. And so even during the quarantine period, Jimmy Butler was still getting his practice sessions in. Good. I was worried there might be some form of entanglement. Adebayo going to the line where he's one of two tonight. Miami 16 of 23. Jimmy Butler and Carl Anthony Towns are really going at it, and they're going to call double technicals on Jimmy. Yeah, you can. You picked up some yeah. of that on the mic. Yeah, but yeah, it's. I'll, I'll let people listen for themselves, and not really going to comment much on that. We all know there's history. Had a bio going to the line where he's one of two tonight. Who is, as always, confident. Check out our conversation. I sat down with Jimmy Butler, who is, as always, Confident. Check out our conversation. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read a little bit of Adrian Wojnarowski's report on what happened there. That you were loud, emotional, passionate. We like to say, quote, "You f me." How would you describe what happened today? <laughs> uh, a lot of it's true. A lot of it is true. 